Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I'm Matt. I'm Dad. I'm Daniel. And we're some of the Veggie Boys, and we want to thank you for stopping by. If you're new here, consider subscribing, because we can grow a lot of things on the farm, but one thing we can't grow is this channel without your help. Our temperatures the past couple days have been up into the mid to low 40s, so it's created a lot of slop. We're putting sawdust in the cow pen to dry everything out because we're expecting it to be wet and sloppy for the next couple days. We've had a lot of snow lately and all this snow is gonna melt and the water is gonna be everywhere. So to make sure everybody's staying healthy, we wanted to get sawdust in our pens to dry everything out for them. These new cows that we just got from that other farmer, they're doing really well, they've calmed down, we aren't having any problems with them, so we're happy about that. Something that has helped, because we have so many cows in this pen, we put a one round bale there, and then we added a round bale feeder in the back corner. The only difference is that feeder in the back corner, we're not feeding round bales. We have hay up on top that we need to get rid of. Uh, it, there's nothing wrong with it, just we want to get it cleaned out. So we're feeding that hay above the chicken pen down into that round bale feeder. Hey, do you think because that hay is older, it tastes better? Like wine? I don't know, I don't chew on hay. Their production is starting to pick up. The size of the eggs are even starting to grow a little bit. So that's what we like to see. Once these guys are in full production, that's really gonna help out the farm market. We got done with the animals. Now we came up into the germination greenhouse. We wanna see if any of that stuff is coming up. Well, I have really, really good news, everyone. We are starting to see some green. Some of the plants are coming up. It might be difficult for you to see, but here is one. Here is one. You can go through and see. We've got one, two right there. We've got all these back here this one's popping up that is really good see the thing with planting these flowers is some of the seeds get deeper than others and some flowers have trouble coming up out of the dirt so it takes a little longer for some of the other ones it's been three days since this stuff was planted and we already have it popping up out of the ground that's why this germination greenhouse is so nice to have some people don't understand why direct seeding like your peppers or your tomatoes into the ground is so difficult. That's because you can't control the soil temperature. But we can control the soil temperature in there, which makes it a lot easier for us. We're back down in our larger greenhouse. We've got a lot of hanging baskets to fill today. Fortunately for us, we're going to continue using the cookie monster. We don't know what to call it. It's blue and it eats the bales of dirt, so I'm calling it the cookie monster. Big blue or cookie monster? Decide in the comments. We have one Spud King here, and then we got another Spud King here, and Autumn, she's back to work! Do you prefer this over the trays, Autumn? Yes.
Our dirt piles are getting much lower in here. We're running out of baskets over here. They've got it filled halfway down through the tables. This is going very smoothly. I don't know why I keep bringing it up. I'm just so excited by how everything is going in here. I'm sorry, the best, the best things going are Swedish gum fish. <laughs> no forgiveness there, girl. There's one, two, three, four pots left. And then we are done with the 12 inch hanging basket pots. All finished. There's over 1,200 12 inch hanging basket pots here. Now that we're finished with the 12 inch pots, we're moving on to the smaller hanging baskets. These are 10 inch. We do a lot of shaded plants in these and we'll even just do some smaller hanging baskets. We sell them at a cheaper price for those that don't want to pay for the larger baskets. Yeah, we were going to get it from one of the liquidators and then Lowe's had on special the same. These little liners, we put one in the bottom of each basket. It helps to drain them out because you don't want water to sit in there because that leads to disease. We want to make sure that our pots are able to drain. Now what is going on over here? I'm on my break. Hey Autumn, What's up? what do you think about dad taking a break? can't believe it. Well, old people, right? That Autumn can say whatever she wants. She skipped out on a second day of work. Never showed up late. She doesn't get up in the morning. She goes home early. Don't even listen to the things she says. <laughs> just, yeah, just that. I don't want to say nothing, but I think that's not true, Autumn. It's not. These pots are a little smaller, so they take less dirt, so I don't have to worry about my job as much. And it's a little more difficult for Matthew. He had to adjust the machine, so we have to find what works for these white pots. Again, who's the guy that thought of this? You want to know why everything's running so smoothly, Dad? Because the veggie funkles here. <laughs> no, you're good. Oh, my bad. How many more of these we got to do, Rhonda? 300. Uh, there's 50 more. I'm getting tired of it. Now we're moving along. Now we got it, Matt. It's all jammed up. Back to the old way. Let's see how everything is going on over here. Oh, are you having fun yet? Oh, yes. Ooh, we've got a lot of the 10 inch pots already filled all the way down through here. Now these are all gonna be flowers. Some of these will actually be used for tomatoes. We do tomato hanging baskets as well. And we hide them from people. Up there, but don't tell anybody. We're moving on to bigger and better things. We're moving on to cocoa baskets. I'm going down these too. we make beautiful hanging baskets out of. We sell them here at the farm market and they always fly right out of here. But now comes the difficult task of rearranging everything and getting it set up. I don't know about everybody else, but my arms are starting to get tired. I've moved like 70 bags of dirt today. Oh, how are you? Are you tired? It's a whiner. These are the cocoa baskets that we got filled. We got quite a few of them. We ordered way more than last year because we sold them really fast last year. So we want to have some more here for the customers. We just finished up here in the greenhouse. We've got our cone baskets completely filled. We've used a lot of dirt today and we've filled a lot of baskets. We're going to continue using this machine when we start to do our trays of vegetables and flowers. So this thing so far, really good purchase. We're slowly starting to get back into the swing of things. Even the farm market has been noticeably busier than normal. I think it's because of the warmer weather, people are starting to think about spring and they're soon gonna start thinking about vegetables. So <laughs> that's really good for us. We got the farm market closed up and I was gonna show you what we're having for dinner tonight, but it's a date night. So Lauren and I went out to a local restaurant. We picked some stuff up, brought it home. Now we're gonna eat some dinner. Hey everybody, this is where we're going to end the video today. I want to thank everyone for watching and I hope to see you next time. 
Bye bye.